Welcome back, everybody. Now we're in Wowie Stage 2. Stage that gives me the most fucking trouble. Because uh, I'm able to record the. I'm able to get through this fine when I'm not recording. But it seems like uh, the recording curse is real and it's fucking vicious today. I'm gonna jump over here. Now, since we're at full health, we're able to go down this pitfall. This pitfall will bring us automatically to Cutman. I might actually have him in a good pattern at least. Come on, come on. There we go. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we made that through. Since Cutman's here, on the other side of this bridge is Elect Man. Ugh. Now immediately you want to equip the rolling cutter. Face him, throw. Because the elect beam is really powerful. Oh god damn it, I keep on running into that. You have to take this bridge slowly. Because it's that one going down that's going to fuck you over. Each and every fucking time. Okay, thank god. Okay, there we go. Elect Man's now taken care of. Now we can drop down this area. And now we have the bombs from Bomb Man's area flying up. I'm gonna take care of this. Wait for it to rise back up, drop. Be careful, because best bet you're at low health. It's um, very recommended that you don't go for this area recklessly. And here you go, we hit the checkpoint. And thankfully they give us a they give us a health up. So I'm going to put down a magnet beam here. Get that extra life. Put myself back up to normal. Get that that was not worth it. That was not worth it at all. Okay, we're going to go with the elect beam here. Get my HP back and get some weapon energy back. Blood beam right now is just going to be your best friend. Ugh. Two, three. Ugh, God, <laughs> no luck there. In this area, you can just go down. It's not worth it. Okay, um, weapon suggestion. Uh, the next boss is going to be, um, well, mimicking us fully. So, he's weak to Fireman's weapon, Elect Man's weapon, and, uh, uh, Hyper uh, and Bomb Man's weapon. So, main thing here is don't get confused on where you are because that's how you that's how you essentially bone yourself god damn it <laughs> uh Down light beam. Let's say actually with hyper bomb because hyper bomb might be a little better. 
because there's a timed uh, explosion. And also just contact damage. Only inflicted to myself though, but not him. God, <laughs> clearly not the not the solution. Okay, let's go with fire. This fire may be key here. If he wants to keep on running into me, might as well just keep myself protected with a shield of fire. Die, die. There we go. The coffee robot's now dead. How a fucking Luga. <laughs> Up to the next stage. <laughs> fuck that shit. Oh, fuck. Welcome to what's considered the easiest uh, part of uh, Wily's Castle. This area, specifically the area itself, you should you shouldn't really die in. You can't take damage, yes, but you can't die. This area is extremely easy. Thank fucking God for that, because as you see with my track record, I'm not the best at this game. Dodge that one. Now this area. You only need to move forward and just keep firing your your Mega Buster. Because soon there will be penguins. There's a current. It's best not to like, interfere with it. And focus on destroying the penguins. Because they might actually drop something useful. And now they get switched up with bombs. They're clearly more likely to drop... Yes. Scratch that. Come on, give me a little bit more help. And here's the boss area. I think this name, this enemy's name is P4-47 or something like that. It's weak to the strong. But in remember, remember from Cutman stage, if you die after using strong arm, these boxes don't return. So your best attempt to beat him is by doing that, grabbing, 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 then grab this one, and there you go, he's now dead. <laughs> Easiest boss in the game. <laughs> Believe it or not, on my first time playing Meg Man uh, 1, because I played the Legacy Collection, Welcome to the final part. Well, final part of the castle. With those ones taken care of, we can just hike up here. 
and start shooting right here. Yeah, that takes care of them. And we grab the strong arm real quick. Grab this. Throw. Then the elect beam. I go over here. Um, the, everybody might be wondering, huh, why is there statues of Gutsman up here? It's actually because Gutsman is Wily's favorite robot master. The main reason for that is um, Wily designed Gutsman. He designed him for what he does best. It just like how, surprisingly, Dr. Light's favorite robot master isn't Mega Man, it's Cutman. Cutman is his favorite creation. It's actually one of the one of the reasons why Cutman's actually able to adapt to the Rush Adapter in uh, the manga. Even though Megman is Dr. Light's best creation, it doesn't automatically mean that he's his favorite. And the item that we have right over here is called the Yasuichi. The Yasuichi is a very special item. It only appears in a few Mega Man games and God damn it. It's like we're going to be grabbing it again. The Yasuichi is a floor store. It brings everything back up to normal. Well, full essentially. It appears in a few games and well. It does very good for what it does. It's sorry, it does really good for what it's supposed to do. It's a, it's a quick, it's a swift needed rejuvenation. So, might as well. There's a reason why the Yasuichi is actually right there. Because we had the boss rush next. All the rest of the Robot Masters, one after the other. Uh, this is right before they all had their individual rooms and such. So, yeah, uh, be prepared for that. <laughs> now let's just wait for us to get the Yasuichi once more. Then we can fight them. All right, we are going to switch straight to uh, atomic fire. Remember the trick to bomb man. Stay up, stay up close to him and he'll want to run. Okay. This is where it gets tricky because Fireman is the most aggressive robot master. And it's not even because... It's not even because his flame tower is high. It's because the little fires that are under it is the problem. There we go. Ah, who knew? Tanking each and every shot is more more of an effective strategy. Next up is Iceman. Iceman could either be the easiest one or where you're going to most oftenly die. There we go. Next up is Gutsman. So put on the bomb and pray. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god damn it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> With all of that said done, we can now go and take care of the file boss. be best suited for this. <sighs> okay. Here is Wily Machine 1. There we go. Obviously we were going to die. But there is a little trick we can do. Simply put, do this, then move away, then come back, get... Wait, does it still work? Maybe I'm not far away enough, and... Okay, just that. Okay. First off, there's two stages to this fight. There we go, first stage done. Next up, we want to put on Rolling Cutter. Because... The Rolling Cutter does the most amount of damage... ...against Wily. Fuck. I only have so limited lives, and I have no save states. Oh no, 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 just seeing this again. I have hope. I have hope, thankfully. Or you can just use the luck beam. We got two more tries on this. <laughs> uh, fuck. this. Stand right here. And let all hell break loose. The main point you're aiming for is that red eye. Great. I had to use wrong card for the rest of this. There we go. Wily machine. Wily's done. <laughs> Please forgive me. Yeah. No. I've been through hell. <laughs> you don't know what I've been through. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and with that, we are clear. <laughs> this is Mega Man 1. Megman has ended the evil domination of Dr. Wily and restored the world to peace. However, the never-ending battle continues until all destructive forces are defeated. Fight, Megman, for everlasting peace. Yeah. That just tells you we're in... <laughs> we're doing this for the long haul, baby. <laughs> uh, so, that's Megman 1. What you guys don't see is the whole day of work that I have tried to beat this game with with some breaks in between. You don't know the amount of deaths, the amount of bullshit that I've essentially been put through. <laughs> stupid deaths, stupid placement, bullshit programming abroad. And here's the thing, Mega Man 1 wasn't a success. It's the next game, Mega Man 2, that was the true success to the series. This is just... This is just the beginning of something great, and something that is going to be... Well, that has stayed with most gamers for years on end, even if they don't know it. 
as well as this was back in the day where every uh, every developer went by a pseudo name, because everybody's smart enough to realize that oh, if I put in my uh, real name, I'm going to get scalped by somebody else to screw over my boss. So that's Mega Man One. Next time in the Mega Man universe, we're going straight to Mega Man Two, which is going to come out soon. I know that much. <laughs> See you all then.